Hey, Friendly Hollow! Hey, my name's New. I'm here with... Kitty, Belle, and Chloe! And we've got a super fun craft for you. Now this one is a handkerchief doll. And you can see I have one right here. And it was made out of a 12 by 12 square of fabric that we made sure and had the ends pinked. Um, we have seen these done out of bandanas. Um, the best fabric to use with this is I like a cotton, 100% cotton. You can use other materials. I find that this one is the easiest to work with and tie. You don't want your fabric to be too thick or too thin while you try to tie the knots. This actually is a knot craft because you tie overhand knots and then a square knot. And then I managed to get a shoe tying bow. These pieces are a little short to do that with. So you have your um, doll. And this actually, we learned this craft when we went to an, uh, a, an event called Daisy Fest that we have here in our Virginia Skyline Council. And we had our archives group that was there teaching us this. And this is actually a craft from the 1951, I had to double check, 1951 brownie book. So this is an older craft from when girls actually would have handkerchiefs on their own and said we had to use squares of fabric because most people don't use a reusable handkerchief anymore. So I thought it was fun to be able to practice our knots while bringing in older craft to girls. Now we have seen with the um, archives group, they just use rubber bands to do this, but we thought that it would be fun if we went back to practicing our square knot with yarn instead of the rubber bands. So would you like to see what you need to make this craft? Yeah! Awesome. Now for our handkerchief doll we need from our camp kits. If it, you got a camp kit and if it arrived, ugh. Um, this envelope here with the purple, it says the handkerchief doll. And you can see um, that the supplies in the envelope we need are fabric. And this is actually cut from, this is cut from my amazing sewing stash of stuff. Um, and it's about 12 inches by 12 inches. You can do different sizes. Um, I've seen this done with an actual um, bandana. Um, we tried this one year with our troop and we did a smaller square because that's what we had. And it really didn't work very well. The knots were kind of hard to tie because they got to be so small. So the um, smallest I would go is a 12 by 12 piece of fabric. And then you need um, two little pieces of yarn and a cotton ball. So um, you can use um, six inches or so. They may should be a little longer, whatever um, you have. Oh, by the way, this um, edge on this was used with some um, pinking sheer kind of scissors things. Um, you do want to have the... Um, ruffled edge or that because we had done some of these with a regular square of fabric that didn't have this edge on it and the fabric started to fray really badly and it was kind of sad to watch our dolls kind of fray up and we actually kind of had to take them apart and re um redo them so would you like to see how to do this craft yeah awesome to make this craft a little bit easier to follow I'm going to show you a step and then we'll watch Chloe try and do that step. Otherwise, there's too many steps to figure out in a row and it just makes it really difficult to follow. So we take our fabric and unfold it. We want to go ahead and at this corner here, we'll tie an overhand knot. Remember, take our Girl Scout finger. Twist it around our thumb and put it in right there. That's a little bit hard to see. Kind of pull.
Hold that a little tight, make sure, because if you pull too hard on this, it'll fray. Then we take our zap, make sure they're on the same side. So your fabric kind of starts to fold over just a little bit. Again, with our knot, fold it over. There is what we start with. Now your fabric looks like this and it's kind of folded over a bit. Oops, got an extra piece of yarn there. So we're going to take our cotton ball and put it up here and we're going to form our little head around our cotton ball. So it should look like this with the little arms and there's the little head. Now that was our overhand knot. This one, we're actually going to kind of tie a couple little knots here, okay? We're gonna start by tying a square knot, left, excuse me, right over left and under. And kind of pull that a little tight and then left over right and under. So it looks like this. Now we can, it's a little bit short, try and tie a shoe tying knot right here to put a little bow around her neck. So it could be like a collar, but it's a little short, so that may be a little hard for you to do. So you can just have it there. It is actually done in a tiny little bow. Make sure you have a little longer and you can kind of adjust where her head, how her head sits. But there is what she looks like now. Okay, so there is our little girl. Now we kind of, you can kind of see the back and the front. And kind of close, you kind of fold it over just a bit in the back. And flip her around. And we'll give her a little waist. And just however you want her body to be, and again, just to tie a square knot. So left over right and under. You could do a surgeon's knot here too. Or you can just go with a square and then left over right and under. And there is what our little handkerchief doll looks like. Again, I actually did manage to get mine in a little bow if your yarn was a little longer, but we were just thinking square knots. And then I was like, wait a minute, I could tie a bow too. Now, if you wanted, you could trend these little pieces of yarn up, and that's what your scissors are for, which I didn't mention earlier. Um, or we can just kind of, we can slide it around the back. And then it's around the back, and you don't actually see that knot at all. It depends on how you want your doll to look. And there. It's our handkerchief doll, practicing our knots. Overhand, square knots. And we're finished! So, here are my two I made, and you could kind of tell of switching back and forth between them in the demo. Ah, uh, that's what happened, you know. So, 
There are my two. I did manage to get the little shoe tying bow. And of course you use this to um, secure flaps on tents is where that shoe tying bow actually is a camping knot. And then our square knot, I kind of did them both a little differently. Then we have Miss Kitty's here and we have the same fabric, but hers looks a little different. Very cute. We have Miss Belle, very pretty. And you could tell she trimmed hers. And then we saw Chloe's and she did hers a little differently too. Now she didn't put her knot right at the end. She brought hers in. So um, hers just looks a little different. They're all super cute. So we hope that you had fun practicing your knots, making a little handkerchief doll and having a little blast from the past. While we do this, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.